Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I just want to do a quick unboxing of the new Asus uh, GTAXE 11000. So this is the new Wi-Fi 6Z compatible router from Asus. So as you've seen in lots of my previous videos I currently have the GTAX 11000 so that's the previous generation to this one. Uh, the specs on this one as we've discussed in previous videos before um, is basically it is roughly the same as the previous generation except this one now supports the Wi-Fi 6E hardware wise uh, with the Ethernet and the software even the CPU and the RAM and the memory is uh, all the same so th this is uh, been uh, the need for a quick review from one of my friends that has actually bought this um, so I can do some reviews and show you uh, some comparison videos um, so I've still got my GTAX 11000 and I do have now one device as you've seen in a previous video I'll put in the top right hand corner. Um, I have a Intel AX210 uh, PCIe uh, a card, Wi-Fi card. Uh, so that's in my PC so I can test the 6 GHz uh, frequency. So as you can see here it does say here about the, uh, the specifications. So as we said, it's got the quad-core CPU and it's at 1.8 gigahertz. It's got the game acceleration uh, built into the firmware. It supports AI mesh, AI protection, and it includes a 2.5 um, gigabit Ethernet port. Uh, so that can be used for the LAN or WAN and it's tri-band. So the difference between the last one is that we had two 5 gigahertz um, channels and one 2.4 now this is still tri-band but this one has uh, one 2.4 gigahertz one 5 gigahertz and uh, the new one uh, 6 gigahertz uh, band so it still has three bands there so it's backwards compatible so as you can see here the box is roughly the the same as as the previous generation so uh, as you can see here it does go through the specifications around it again it's a big uh, for the price it's not cheap so you expect something a bit bigger um, as you can see here the interface as we've gone through it does have the one 2.5 gigabit WAN or LAN port the one gigabit WAN port four gigabit LAN ports two USB 3.2 gen 1 ports it does allow 3G 4G sharing and um, of course that's with the USB uh, on there it has eight antennas so again this is uh, has the antennas here but unlike the previous model where you could actually detach them these ones are permanently fixed in so uh, just be aware on that uh, memory is 256 megabit uh, megabytes flash and it's still got the one uh, gig uh, DDR3 RAM uh, as we said the operating uh, frequency it's got the 2.4 the five and the six. And again, as we see here, it does support uh, backward compatibility as well. And it does include the new WPA3 encryption. So that's the same as the previous model as well. And as you see inside here, it's not too much inside here, as I think most thing, uh, people interested is the actual router uh, you've got here. And then you've got an RJ45 cable, the power adapter, quick start guide, and a warranty card. So as you can see here, it says it's Mac, Windows 11, uh, supports IP version 6 and has a three year warranty. So that's really good to see as well. So they're actually given a three year warranty. So as you can see here um, on this information, they're just going through the whole new uh, six gigahertz frequency information. And they're just telling you about, you can do a WAN aggregation. So that means you can join the two one gigabit, um, gigabyte uh, ethernet ports together. Um, and you do also have the uh, 2.5 gigabit WAN and LAN ports, as you can see here. And it does have the features of the game server, uh, as this is a gaming router. Um, so basically it has extra features on there to actually help with that. So as we open it up, as you can see, it is quite, it's not a small box at all. Uh, so you do get a few of the things in here. So you get your quick start guide your uh, safety notice, some instructions, and then you get the uh, advanced Wi-Fi helper tip as well. So it gives you information here. So it just goes through on how to setting it up. 
um, update your drivers as well. So as we know, um, for your network uh, Wi-Fi card, um, it's only got a QR code as well there. So it's just giving you some up-to-date information and also about the current uh, on here of the Wi-Fi cards that are compatible. But it should be compatible with all Wi-Fi. So as you can see, it is quite hefty, uh, the router. Uh, so we'll go through that in a bit detail in a minute. Uh, we'll quickly have a look at the bottom here. So it's well padded, but it should be because it is quite heavy. Um, so you have here, you have your, your power cables. So as we're in the UK and it has a European one. And then you have your Ethernet uh, cable. Uh, the Ethernet cable, it doesn't say if it is what cate category it is. So I presume it is a uh, cat 5e. Uh, on there. Oh, sorry. It is a cat 6. So it's cat 6 ethernet cable that comes with it. So that's good to see uh, And then you of course you've got your power brick. But it's good to see the power brick is not very not very big at all So you can see here it's not very big and quite uh, quite a good size to be honest um, So it's nice to see it's a little bit smaller and everything else. So that's good to see so that's this the uh, box. So I think we will uh, close that up, and we come back to the actual uh, router. So as you can see here, it is quite a hefty beast. So you've got your antennas here. As we said, they're fixed. So you do have eight of them. So there's two on each side, and you can just fold them out. And they do come out and you can, you can uh, directional so you can actually move them around and everything else if if need be uh, as you can see here and you can move them across so as we said this lights up so it has got a new design it's much more got some more ventilation it does have your LEDs down here for your uh, three uh, Wi-Fi bands the power uh, LED and then also for the Ethernet and then for the Wi um, for your WAN so it shows you're on the internet so you do have three buttons here so you've got your Wi-Fi uh, your boost and WPS um, so it's uh, Wi-Fi here the I think you can program these so the boost one normally and this one's nice to see where you can, if you want to switch off your Wi-Fi anytime it does have a lot of ventilation on the bottom as well as well as the side so as you can see here you've got your Ethernet port so as again, it's quite heavy. So you've got 2.5 uh, gigabit uh, Ethernet, your WAN port for your internet, so it's blue, and then you've got your four gigabit LAN ports as well. Again, it's got ventilation across here. So as you can see here, you've got your on and off button, your reset, and then you power it in. And again, you've got more ventilation through there. It does have some rubber feet at the bottom, so it won't be slipping off, but at this weight, I don't think it will be slipping off much anyway, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, they have redesigned it since the previous generation, the GTAX 11000. Um, so we'll do some tests, uh, switch it on and see what the firmware is like and uh, do some speed test comparisons between in the future. Okay, so this has just been a quick unboxing of the uh, Asus uh, GTAX E11000, the new Wi-Fi 6E router from them. Again, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them and I'll uh, get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.